P is the destination based routing. Means whenever packet hits to the router, it will check the destination IP address and based on that, it will forward it over the particular link. But RSVP and segment routing both are source based. Means hidden router router is going to decide which path he needs he needs to take. For ULDP, we need to maintain the neighborship between two routers or multi-hop routers. And for RSVP to set up those RSVP tunnels, we need to maintain those soft state like part state block and resource or resource state block on each router. RSVP is stateful router because it is maintaining all those states. But that is the advantage with the segment routing. We don't need to maintain any state on the middle routers. Only state will be on the hidden routers, which is going to decide where he needs to forward. With the LDP traffic engineering is not possible. With RSV we can use and that is possible also with the segment routing. Loop free alternative in the LDP is not giving us the complete protection here. First fast reroute in the RSCP was famous. But still it has many challenges. But in the segment routing we have TILFA that we called as the topological independent LFA. That gives us the 100% coverage. And that path will be via the post convergence path. LDP and RSVP both are not the ECMP aware, but segment routing is, is the ECMP aware. So, both for LDP and RSVP troubleshooting makes difficult because it is two protocols. So, first we need to pro uh, troubleshoot the IGP. And then we need to troubleshoot the LDP or RSCP protocol. But with the segment routing, because it is the single protocol, so troubleshooting becomes very, very easy. Intradomain is possible with the LDP and RSCP, but interdomain is having challenge. And that is the biggest advantage of the segment routing. So with the help of the path computation element and BGP link state, we can use the interdomain option with the segment routing.
you want to migrate from LDP to segment routing, you need to just configure the SR prefer on the headend and then segment routing will start working and slowly slowly you can remove the LDP from your network. So migration is very very easy from LDP to the segment routing. It is very scalable because like we saw earlier in the case of RSP where we need to maintain so many signaling of paths in the networks or path state block on the routers. So it makes a little bit difficult from the scaling point. But in the case of segment routing, we just need to maintain those states on the hidden router. No need to maintain the states on the routers which are in between the head end and tail end. Traffic engineering becomes very very easy in the case of segment routing where we can use the low latency bandwidth dejoin path and flexible algorithm. On demand next stop. So remote router can request can send some information in their request to the hidden routers and then hidden routers he can calculate himself or he can take the help of SRPC to set up that path. So it is completely based on demand. So that's it for the segment routing basic overview and here is a very very good resource if you need more in-depth information from the segment routing. Thank you for watching.